If you're someone who is struggling with anxiety or a dysregulated nervous system and you want to address it, then this video is for you. My name is Deborah Cobb and I am a massage therapist and cranial sacral therapist um, and integrative health practitioner. And I love teaching people how to regulate their nervous systems. That's been um, the main thing that I've focused on in my career. Uh, a lot of it because that's what people needed. <laughs> Everyone is so stressed these days. So many people are, are suffering with anxiety. And then personally, it's because it's what I needed. I've struggled with a dysregulated nervous system for most of my life. And so I'm going to be teaching a lot of the things that have helped me drastically change my anxiety and how I process things. So the first thing to know is that you are not stuck. Your nervous system is just doing its job. It's doing what it believes it needs to do. It's reacting to stimuli, to information, to the environment in the way that makes sense to it because of your history, because of the way you were raised, because of maybe past traumas. But the good news is you can change it. You are not stuck in that process. It may feel that way. It might feel like you're stuck, but you're not actually stuck. It is changeable. But it's important to know that it is going to take time. I think a lot of us want an overnight, <laughs> I think we want things to change overnight. We want everything to be better overnight because we're miserable, because we're not happy, because we're struggling, but that's not quite how it works. My favorite illustration for describing how the brain works and how the neural pathways work is thinking about walking a pathway in the woods. So a pathway that you've walked for a long time is really easy to walk because you know exactly where you're going, especially if you walked it every day, say four years. You wouldn't even have to really look at your feet. You would know exactly what was there. You would know what roots were there. You would know what was in the way, what turn was coming next, all of it. You'd feel very comfortable on that trail. And part of the reason why it's so easy is because the more often you walk, they walk that way, nothing else can grow right there because your footsteps are ensuring that. Well, imagine you had to create a new pathway. That's kind of like going from the habits we've always done to starting a new habit or a new way of thinking or a new way of functioning. I live in the Pacific Northwest and there is a ton of underbrush <laughs> and you, you give the earth a bare space, it's going to fill it with something, bushes and ferns and all sorts of things. Well, if I, you wanted to start a new pathway in a forest like that, it's not going to be easy because you're going to end up having to step over things. You're going to have to chop bushes down. Uh, the first few times, it's going to be difficult. You're going to have to watch really carefully where you put each foot uh, and it's not going to be comfortable until you start walking that pathway every day or very often. And all of a sudden, all of that underbrush, underbrush will die away and it will start to be a trail that you know just as well as the other trail. And that is exactly how the brain works. Now we tend to give up when we're in that first part, the first few days or even weeks of starting that new pathway. We're like, this isn't worth it. This is too hard. <laughs> this is difficult. I don't wanna keep doing this. It's uncomfortable. I have to jump over boulders, like, right? We get frustrated and so we give up. But understanding how that works and understanding that that is the process can really help us to keep going. So it's really important not to expect that you're gonna change overnight, that you're gonna go from being an anxious person or someone who startles easy or someone with some health problems or whatever it is that you're going through right now, you're not suddenly going to wake up the next day and be a different person. It takes time for things to change. So it's important to come in with that expectation. The second thing that's really important is to understand that you need to start slow. Now, I don't know about you, but I have through my life had this habit of going from not happy with where I was to I'm going to change all my habits at once. <laughs> I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to wake up early every day and I'm going to work out and I'm going to eat all the right foods and I'm going to drink all the water and I'm going to do deep breathing exercises and I'm going to ground and I'm going to do like I have all the, these things that I know that I should do 
and that I want to do, but I'm expecting me to go from not doing any of them to suddenly the next day being able to do all of them. It's not very realistic. And I was stuck in that pattern for a long time of thinking that I could, and I would start and sometimes it would work and I would do pretty well for maybe a week, <laughs> maybe a few days, maybe even two weeks. And then eventually when I couldn't do it perfectly, I'd throw my hands up in the air and I'd give up because I'd be frustrated and I would go right back to where I was and nothing would ever actually change. And if that resonates with you, if you've gone through that too, then first of all, just know I totally get it. I've been there too. I still struggle with that tendency, expecting everything to change overnight. But everything finally did change for me when I stopped trying to change everything and I focused on one thing at a time. And this is hard to do if you've been stuck in that wanting to change everything because it seems like it's not enough. It seems like one thing isn't enough because I wanna change 20 things. Why am I gonna start with so small? But the reason is because you need to be realistic and we don't change that way. Look back at your history. Have you changed? Have you done all the things? Has it worked the process that you've been stuck in? Is it working? If the answer is no, then maybe try a new process. Starting with one simple thing has a lot of different benefits. First of all, it's doable. You're training your brain, I can do new things. And you start with something. You don't just wanna start with one thing, you wanna start with one small thing. And for me, what changed everything was when all I did every day was focus on making my bed. And I know that sounds like such a small thing and maybe you're someone who already makes your bed every day and so that sounds weird, but that was one of my goals, one of my habits that I wanted and I was just not being consistent with it. But when I would make my bed every day, I just felt better through the day. I felt like I'd accomplished something first thing, my room was tidier, just everything felt better. And because I stuck to that one thing, I was able to then, once that became a habit, I was able to add another thing and feel good about it. And because I knew that I could do it because I just proved to myself that I could. So that's part of why you want to start slow and you want to start small. Have a realistic goal that you can reach every day, no matter what. Something that can take you three minutes so that you know that you will actually do it. And for you, maybe that one thing is going to be something different. Maybe for you, it would be better to drink a glass of water as soon as you wake up in the morning. Maybe it's to add in a breathing exercise when you first wake up in the morning or before you go to bed or some point through the day. Maybe it's to add in cold showers. I'm going to be teaching you about that as we go on. If you want help with what that one thing could be, let me know if none of those sound like good things, let me know um, in the comments and I can give you some suggestions. But it's really important to just start with one. I know it, like you said, like I said before, I did not like this idea. <laughs> I thought this is dumb. I can do the one thing, no problem. Like might as well do five. Try to push that thought away from you and just do the one. I promise it will make such a huge difference. And the other important thing to know, it wasn't just one thing that helped me to make such a huge difference in regulating my nervous system and addressing my anxiety. It wasn't one thing, it was actually many different things, but I still had to start with one. I still had to start with one thing. And I'm going to be showing you through these video series, all the different ways, all the different things that have helped me and that have helped my clients. Because for you, it might be different things than it was for me or in a different order. And so it's important to try out different things too, to see what's going to be the most effective, but most likely it wasn't one thing that caused your anxiety. And that's not one thing that causes you to continue having the issues that you're having. If you can't manage your stress, if you feel overwhelmed all the time, there's things like the way that you think there's your relationships and whether you have boundaries. And then there's things like, is your gut healthy? Um, are you getting the nutrients that you need? Are you mineral deficient? Like there are a lot of contributing factors that have an impact 
on our whole being because we're not just a brain in a body. Our brain is a part of everything and everything is connected. So it's important to recognize that, but also don't let that sound overwhelming. You have to start somewhere and just start slow. Start with one thing. And to give you a little bit of hope and being realistic, I have, I've come so far from where I was. I was in a constant state of anxiety and it's actually pretty rare for me now. That being said, I'm still working. I'm still doing things to help my body be very different than from where it was. So this is a long-term change. This is a long-term thing that you can do to help your body, but just keep working at it every day and you'll start to see a difference. So hopefully that was helpful. It's so important to be realistic about the healing process and how we actually function so that we know what to expect, but we're also motivated to follow through and continue doing the things, knowing it's not gonna be all of a sudden I wake up tomorrow and I feel different, but it will be, you'll wake up one day and realize, wow, I am completely different from where I was. And that part is really exciting and that's where I'm at right now and I want you to get there too. So hopefully that was helpful and we will see you in the next video.